Go ahead and turn our attention to the weather now, and as if protecting my eyes wasn't enough of a reason, I think I might stay inside a lot today anyhow. There, Kit. Yeah, we're going to be seeing those temperatures into the 90s this afternoon, and if you are outside, it's going to be mostly sunny, so definitely put on those suns, uh, the sunscreen and the sun glasses, because we're going to be seeing a lot of sunshine over the next couple of days, in fact. And looking at our Imperial Sky Cam, sun starting to rise off towards the western parts of the state. But currently here in the Tri-Cities, we are seeing those temperatures a little bit on the cool side this morning compared to what it's going to be later on this afternoon. We're already starting to get up around 70 degrees across the area, 71 already in Kearney. And the winds are all out of the south around 5 to 15 miles an hour across the area. And they're going to be gusting a little bit higher than that later on today. Looking at the day planner, we're going to warm up very quickly, already at 90 degrees by the lunch hour. So we're going to be seeing those temperatures very hot later on this afternoon. And we'll stick around for the next couple of days as well. Temperatures across the state right now are already seeing some mid 70s on the color map down there in Kansas and we're going to be seeing the temperatures rise continuously through the morning as these uh, highs will be into the 90s. Yesterday we had some showers and thunderstorms to our north and that kept them a little bit cooler through the afternoon, but that's not going to be the case today. We might see a brief pop up shower or two, but basically what's going on is we have this high pressure that's off toward our south and that's going to be bringing up a lot of hot air from the south and it's basically pushed off the cold air air to the north in Canada and really this time of year it doesn't have much opportunity to cool down very much so with it stuck like this over the next couple of days we're not going to be seeing much relief at all. Satellite and radar we have some thunderstorms off towards Iowa but it's not going to be affecting us at all. That high pressure moves clockwise and so that's basically preventing all of the main major showers and thunderstorms to be off towards the Dakotas or off to our east in Iowa and off towards other parts of the country as well. So very hot conditions over the next couple of days with that southern flow forecast highs today into the 90s and then tomorrow we could be seeing hundreds around the tri-cities once again russ